Hey guys, I'm so excited to show you this recipe because it uses double prep ahead. I have my thyme simple syrup and my prepped ahead pear jam. A little game that I play is how many prepped ahead ingredients can I put into a recipe? <laughs> and considering that there's only like four ingredients, two of them being prep ahead, pretty good. Okay, cool. You guys might've heard of gin and juice. This is gin and jam. It's delicious. And I can't wait to show you because it's so easy. In a cocktail shaker, shaker bottle, whatever you guys got, we're gonna add three ounces of gin. You know I love my Hendrix. We're gonna do two teaspoons of this beautiful thyme simple syrup, which is such an elegant flavor and it's beyond easy to make. One and a half ounces of lemon juice. Two tablespoons of our pear jam. Again, another elegant flavor, the pear jam with the thyme simple syrup. You guys are gonna love it. And let me know. I wanna know what you think. Okay, so now we're just gonna shake this up. A little bit of an arm workout too, no big deal. And then in a strainer, these are so great just to have at home, different sizes. They're so versatile and very inexpensive. So this is a great little tool, especially for something like this, where you wanna kind of strain out the pulp of the pear and have it be nice and smooth. Oh, it smells so good, you guys. So you have to kind of help work it through a little bit just to get it through the strainer there because the mesh is pretty tight on these. Okay, let's make sure we get the whole concoction in there. Great. Oh my gosh, that looks so pretty. I'm also tempted to just like eat this. It's so good. Oh, look at how pretty. I love how the pear gives us a really pretty hue. Just looks springy and light. Okay, so what's left, I kind of smash a little bit of the pear through and just kind of scoop a little bit in there. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna add a sprig of thyme, garnish, gin and jam. Isn't that pretty? Guys, that's so delicious. It's vibrant, it's bright, but it's really light and elegant. That's a really nice cocktail. This is great for like a brunch, you know, if you're having friends over or family over, you just whip up a batch of these. It's really beautiful. Oof. This is delicious. You know, another thing that would be really great in here too is a little spritz of club soda. If you want a little spritzier, especially if you're like having a brunch vibe, that could be really nice. We're top with a little bit of Prosecco. Just saying. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I will see you next time.